Hi and welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a Neptune's Raff. So this one originates from uh, the Violet Hour in Chicago. Uh, I believe the Educated Barfly has done it and uh, someone requested it, I'm pretty sure. I can't find out, uh, I can't find where they requested it, whether it be on Facebook or uh, YouTube or Instagram. I was trying to find who it was that requested it. If it was you, please let me know in the comments below. Um, this cocktail is essentially like a gin sour with the addition of green chartreuse and absinthe. So it's gonna be, add some aniseed and some, some herbal notes, and it's gonna be quite potent, but I'm really looking forward to it. And also a shout out to Kyle Helm uh, for purchasing this bottle of beef eater on the by the back bar feature. Uh, I'll finally be utilizing it in this drink. So, for the last two and a half weeks, I haven't uploaded. I apologize, guys. I've been trying to be as regular as I can, but I got married two weeks ago, and yeah, I've been relaxing and taking it easy on a, a bit of a mini honeymoon. Um, it's been nice. So, let's start off with one and a half ounces, 45 mil of your preferred gin. I'm just using a, a London Dry beef eater. And then a quarter ounce of absinthe, so 7.5 mil. And add that straight into your cocktail shaker. Followed by some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Three quarter ounce, 22.5 mil. And likewise for simple syrup. I'm using a one-to-one -one simple syrup. Three quarter ounce, 22.5 mil and half an egg white. Three quarters of an egg white. <laughs> so we're gonna give that a dry shake. So no ice. Before adding ice and giving it another shake. Now strain it into a, a chilled cocktail glass, coupe, Nick and Nora. Nice hard shake, so it's got this real thick consistency. Looks and smells delicious. And then we're gonna finish it with flamed chartreuse. So if you like, you could pour a quarter ounce, seven and a half mil into your jigger, give it a light, sort of rotate it around a little bit and then pour it over the top. I've already got green chartreuse in the atomizer bottle, so I'm just gonna give it a few sprays over the top of my drink. Given that it is seven and a half mils, um, I'll give it a few extra sprays. It's a fair bit, but probably still not seven and a half mils. But there you have the Neptune's Wrath. Cheers. The absinthe notes, pretty potent on this one. The anise notes are, are pretty dominant and the, the herbal notes from that chartreuse. Oh, that adds a lot of complexity and depth to your, to your classic gin sour. I highly recommend giving this one a try. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.